th this, I, I think we'll look back at this period like we look back to the period where people were discovering fundamental physics. I think the fact that we're discovering how to predict the intelligence of a trained AI before we start training it, um, and that there is something, something close to a natural law here, and we can predictably say this much compute, this big of a neural network, this training data, um, this will be the capabilities of the model. Now, we can predict how it'll score on some tests. What we're really interested in is can we predict the sort of the qualitative new things, just the new capabilities that didn't exist at all in GPT-4 that do exist in future versions like GPT-5. Um, that seems important to figure out. But right now, we can say, you know, here's how we predict it'll do on this eval or this metric. And, and I really do think we'll look back at this uh, like we were all living through one of the most important periods of human discovery. I think this will be that, that big of a deal. In terms of how we think about when we go beyond human intelligence, and, and I don't think that's quite the right framework because it'll happen in some areas and not others. You know, already these systems are superhuman in some limited areas and extremely bad in others. And I think that's fine. Um, I think everybody's gonna be the CEO of like, all of the work they want to do, and they'll have tons of people that they're able to coordinate and direct and sort of provide the taste and the feedback on. Um, but they'll have like lots of agents, for lack of a better word, that go off and do increasingly complex tasks. I, I think it's going to feel like this gradual thing. It's, it's these, these AIs join society. They join the workforce. It's not even like we feel like any one instant, any single AI is way more powerful than a human, we haven't made a decision. We don't even make a decision there. It's that we have, you know, 8 billion humans and we have 8 billion AI workers that kind of just exist in society and give us all a lot of leverage.